Okay, we got a match with um, Chris. Chris is a white belt in this tournament going against a blue belt. I haven't watched this match in, that in depth. Looks like they're going for the tie-up. It looks like a wrestling tie-up here. Uh, right now, I think, you know, let me just say this. Chris is a cool guy. He sent me a couple videos where he's kicking people's butts and stuff, so I backed it up a little. I wanted to see, like, a match where he loses. Just so you know, Chris is, is I think, a very good white belt. Um, Chris Zucker, if you look him up, I mean, he's kicking people's butts in a lot of matches. But I said, let's see one where you're, like, having a difficult time. Um, right here, you know, the elbow's extended, in my opinion. That guy's got the, uh, he's doing, like, a wrestling approach with the hand on the head. Uh, I'm not a too, too huge a fan of seeing this right here. Those elbows extended, it's very common. And the posture right here, I say bend your knees a little bit more, bend your butt a little bit more, keep your head up and your chest up, just wrestling wise. Same with this gentleman here. I'm not here to critique that gentleman though, so don't take offense. Um, and you're going linear in this tie up, it's just going back and forth. Oh, boom, he gets the leg, that's two points for him. So now you're in your guard. And the thing is, when he took that shot, You know, your right hand was up. So it was easy for him to take that shot because you weren't blocking his, his arm at all, uh, defending. So that's why he was able to take that shot. It's almost like an ankle pick, but he just grabs the leg. But it is like an ankle pick. That, that's right. Sorry. Okay, Chris has got him in the guard here. I like that. He's playing a good guard. He's trying to get an angle there. That's really good. That guy's pretty good on top. He's staying very low. Now he pushes down with the, the left elbow there. I say bring your knee right now. Bring it up and capture that arm before he gets that left knee over. And that's what he's going to do. He's going to get that left knee over. So as he gets that over, now it's your time to escape out toward your left and get away. But here's the problem. And don't get me wrong. I got, I've been in this situation. I've got crammed up here. So... It's not narcissistic or anything on my part to tell you this, but here's a big error that happens and I understand it and it's cool and it's not gonna happen again, obviously. So he's got the knee over, but you go for the Kimura or the bump sweep when he's got a really good wide base there and he's got that knee pointed out to the left. So you miss that opportunity here and then you go to your knees. That's when he, he comes back in and now he starts to take your back. He was very savvy in that. Okay, watch this again. So here, now he comes over. That's the time to repose your guard. But you want it to come over and you want it to go for a Kimura or a hip bump sweep, but that's not the time to do it because he's, ha he's got a nice wide base right there. So as you do it, you roll all the way through and you go so quick that you allow, you turn your hips all the way down and you know, you almost forced your leg down and now he's got that opportunity. That's the whole crux of the match right there. He's high there for a second. You could have taken advantage of that, got on the balls of your feet, lift your hips up, and then, uh, you know, you could take him over. But here you're waiting, 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 waiting. More opportunity for him, more opportunity for him, more opportunity for him. And obviously he's taking advantage of that, which is cool. You know, you're, you're good and all, and I get that. It's a, it, for anybody, this is a hard situation. Let's back up a little bit here. Now, you fighting against his feet with your hands is going to leave your collar open up. Okay, but now you come back and he's already got the left hand in the collar. So when you came down, again, back up. When you come down with your hands to his feet, that's when his left hand is coming in your collar. So you came back up to the collar. Understand? You got your hands on the feet. That gives him the collar. That's why he brought the left in, hand in there. Now you bring your hands up, it's a little bit late, and now you're fighting the choke. This is all hips right here. You're using your hands. I understand that. Yes, it can work for some things, but the way you're at, I think it's good. I would go to half guard right there. That opportunity was a hair of a second. Let's watch it again. Right here, as you turn, boom, half guard right there. Put that knee inside or hook with the left foot, and then you try to escape that position. But here, and I had this happen to me too, so, so don't get me wrong, boom, now it's a different story. Now you're in, in deeper trouble, and he's playing a decent game on top. He's got you in the mount, 
and now you roll to your belly. Okay, now it's some trouble here. So you got to bring your, um, you know, you're, you're fighting this choke here. I'd say roll to your butt and escape. But you're stuck where your belly's toward the mat, and uh, now he's going to come on top of you here. Okay. So again, fighting off the back is, is all hips. Is all hips. You're reaching back. It seems that you're uncomfortable there, which is fine. We've all been there, but you got to get comfortable there, which is fine. Here, I say this is the worst position. I was there against uh, Marcelo Lozado in 2009, and, and I got choked out. Now you want to move your feet and, and cross, uncross his legs by moving your knees. This is a very tough position. He gets a submission. I think it's a good job. That's a good learning experience. And you get your defense very tight with the back, and you're the man. But again, you are the man for competing, and you know you got a lot of great wins under your belt, too. Thanks for allowing me to uh, dictate your video and commentate.